Okay guys, welcome to a quick prac. Now I have to do the prac for you guys because we can't do this prac at home, but when we get back to school, this is definitely one of the first pracs that we are going to do. Um, it is how forensic investigators figure out what blood type a blood sample is. Okay, now we'll have a look at the equipment we have. We've got one vial of blood. It's a blood sample and we do not know what blood type it is. That's what this experiment is about. We're going to do what the forensic scientists do out in the field. We've got one sample tray and as you can see, there are three three um, places to put our blood sample. Now here's our important ones. We've got these vials. Each one of these vials has got a special serum that identifies the presence of antigens. So we have the blue one. If we mix this into blood and there's a reaction, we know that the blood has got A antigens. Same with the B, it's the yellow one. This one here will detect the presence of B antigens and this one here which is it says D it detects whether it is its RH factor so it will detect whether it's a positive or a negative sample of blood okay let's get to working out what type of blood this is step one is placing a dot of blood or a drop of blood in each space Okay, step two, we're going to take our A serum, open it up. We're going to put a couple of drops of this stuff in the top one. And we'll let that stay there for a bit. And we'll continue on, get the serum B, put it in the bottom one. There we go. And finally, our serum D, which is going to tell us if it's a positive or a negative blood sample. Okay. And now I'm going to use the toothpicks provided in order to mix the samples. Now, remember, the last thing I'd want to do here is to use this toothpick in here. We can't we don't want to contaminate the blood, so you make sure you're always using a new toothpick. Give this a good mix. Remember, we're looking for reactions. Now, the reactions are whether or not the blood clots. Okay, mixing it with a new toothpick there. Okay, so now it is time to see whether or not we have any reaction in the form of clotting. Now it's quite obvious in this top one that our serum has reacted to the blood, which means this blood sample contains A antigens. If we look at the bottom one, there's no reaction, so it does not contain any B antigens. And now let's have a, a good look at our positive or negative. There is no reaction there. So that would make this one a negative sample. So what do you think we have? It has A antigens, doesn't have any B antigens, and it's a negative. So what blood type do you think this is? So guys, just look, looking at this um, chart, let's have a look. It did have A antigens. It did not have B antigens, so it can't be AB and it can't be B. It's got to be one of these. And it did not have the RH factor, which makes it positive. So it's this one.
So here's some things we know. It doesn't have A antigens. It doesn't have B antigens, but it is positive. So what blood type is that? Let's refer to the chart once again. It had no antigens whatsoever, no A ones and no B ones, which make, makes it one of these two. And this time it did react to the um, RH factor, which means it's a positive. So which one do you reckon it is? Okay, if you chose O positive, then you are correct. Okay, and here's one um, last one. Let's have a look. Can you analyze this? Have a look at the top. Is there a reaction with the A? Is there a reaction with the B antigens? And is there a reaction to say whether it is a positive or a negative sample? What sample do you think this is? Or what type do you think this sample is?